morning family and friends early early morning we are on our way to Fort Scott Kansas for a gathering of youtubers homesteaders it's called um, growing towards self-sufficiency gathering it's a day event up at the uh, Bourbon County Fairgrounds in Fort Scott we're going to uh, meet up with people that we've uh, been talking to, uh, that we've met through the YouTube channel, uh, specifically the Last Chance Cook-Off, uh, a and a mile, couple other uh, group YouTube things, and we're a little excited. Um, I'm very excited to go see the Hoop Houses on the Homestead and see what that's all about. And Jerry's excited just to be talking with people of like mind. So come along with us on this journey uh, and we'll uh, cue you in later. We're mailing it. And they're just straight out mailing it. Which would be in the uh, wrap. Yep. Silage. Nope. Too late. It's dried out. Oh. Yeah, silage is going to be wet, honey. Okay. Silage is going to be. 40%. Okay. On this side of the road, soybeans are growing and they're going to get harvested. Oh, yeah, another month or two. A month or so because our, the first freeze. our first freeze is predicted to be in a couple of weeks. Oh, I think it's like October 17th. I'm keeping an eye on that date because that's when I need to get my garlic going. So. Over this slight hump in the road, I think you'll be able to see on our side of the road straight ahead, and there's no vehicles on our side of the road. We're the only one traveling north. North. Interesting. And it's 8.30 in the morning on a Saturday, so maybe it's too early. Nobody's going to Kansas City, but we're going to stop off at Fort Scott. Well, we made it. We're at the uh, Bourbon County Fairgrounds in... Uh, Bourbon County, which is uh, in Fort Scott, and uh, everybody's gathering. It seems to be maybe a small crowd, but that doesn't matter because that just means more attention and more networking and all that good stuff. And there's Jerry talking to uh, Dale of Nine Acres and Gary of uh, Gathering Homestead, and I said this wrong, with Uncle G of uh, Audacity Dawning, and I'm gonna go get my seat, but this is where we're gonna be for the day, so more later. Homesteader, we want you to latch on to somebody that's not, so that you can learn more. And I'm gonna tell you as somebody who's not, I learn stuff from you guys that are beginning, because there's things I don't think about, things that I, I didn't know, you know, I've done it the way my family did it. You guys are coming from a different perspective, so you're knowing things that I don't know. You're researching, doing different research, you're getting, yep. you're getting a whole of different information that we don't even think of to look. Right, right. We just do what Grandpa told us to do, right? <laughs> so, first of all, I think Cindy and I, we're going to pray to get this started. We think relationships are extremely important. And the first and most important relationship to us is our relationship with our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. And so we're going to on different levels. But 22 years ago, things changed for me. And are still changing. Hopefully they keep changing. But I became a follower of Jesus Christ. And Cindy had been since before we met. And uh, that changed not everything, but it changed homesteading too. And so when you look at the, the Bible and what it tells us about our history as people, it talks about God creating a perfect garden. 
and talks about God creating man in that garden. And He gave man, man a task. One of them was to name animals. And the other one was to tend the garden. So God put man on a homestead. A garden and animals, that's a homestead, right? So He put man on a homestead and then He made woman to be a part of that. And the perfect, before sin entered, the perfect life was a garden and livestock and God and a man and wife. And it was mainly a hill ground, some of them been cropped. Uh, the only reason, one of the reasons we bought the place was it was close to a small town and it uh, had some hog facilities. Uh, at least had some barns and some concrete. And uh, most of the other places that I went to didn't have it. I mean, I, I knew that uh, I was going to have to be in the hog business to, to, uh, to pay for the farm. My brother was a veterinarian, and uh, uh, I, you know, I, I didn't know. You know, I, I had been with hogs since I was probably eight or nine. We had cattle when, when we moved down. We had about 70 head of cows between us. So, uh, that's pretty good for going, you know, coming out of college, uh, basically no debt, and uh, being able to get somebody to loan you enough money. My dad put up uh, a loan on his farm so we could make the down payment. Uh, and then back in those days, the owner would give you financing. So I don't. You know, that's kind of a thing of the past anymore. But, uh, uh, and then, uh, basically, we took off there. Lunch break up here. And there's a bunch of guys here. I'll, I'll subscribe to my channel. I subscribe to theirs. we got a live feed going also. And there's a few other people there. Uh, you guys know me, the Dean. I'm terrible. There's Susan sitting there with a lady who does a bunch of knitting and stuff. And it's not that it'd be as strong as I thought they were going to have, but it's uh, people who are interested in homesteading and, and how to do the homestead and different, different, want to learn things from different people about their homesteading. And uh, you know, some have uh, like nine acres is here, and uh, I can't remember everybody's name, man. It's time terrible about that. But, anyways, it's a nice little turnout of a they'll get together of people who are have like minds and they want to do something similar so anyways I'll add it all this together Yes. 
stimulator. It doesn't make your immune system work better, it just activates it. And it is really good at fighting infections. So when you get a cold or when you get a sore throat or something. Dried or flowers. Uh -huh. Do you go ahead and dry these higher like sin type thing? Or do you just dry the flowers? So most of when I have picking just the flowers is Kalinda. Part of putting things together. Yeah. And everybody that spoke today and everybody that answered questions, we want to thank you. We want to thank everybody that came. Yes. Some of you guys go always, and we appreciate you coming to, to be a part of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right, I'm kind of like, okay. I'm kind of like, she she wants well, I think it should be somewhere. Yeah. Say, everybody, can, yeah. everybody needs, yeah. I mean, we've got all these tripods, and we got like timers on the <laughs> cameras. Yeah. So every, everybody jump in. Yeah, let's do it. Mitchell can get a good boss. Don't run yeah. too far, Dan. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Dan, you're just on the back. You can't see. You can't see. You can't see. We are on our way home. We had a great time at um, the seminar. Where's my paper? Because I can all can't say it right. It is. I want to say it right. It is get growing towards self-sufficiency gathering. It was a one-day seminar up here in Fort Scott, Kansas. Kansas, and there's talks. Quarter of a mile. Your destination will be on the left. There's talk of uh, doing it again next year, maybe adding on another day, not sure. Um, we uh, met people that uh, we had found on... In 1,000 feet, turn right. YouTube uh, on a couple challenges, like turn I said right. earlier. And um, the organizers of the group were Nine Acre Family Farm, uh, Pathway Homestead, Pathways Homestead, and Gathered Together Homestead. Keep left at the fork. Small group, enjoyed them, and uh, looking forward to another one if, if it happens. And we thank you for coming along with us on our, on our little trip today. We're headed back home. We're in Kansas right now. And uh, we'll be home in about an hour. We won't hour be in Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> I'll be in Kansas. Yeah. Thanks, Jerry. Anyway, thanks for going along with us, and we'll catch you on the next video.